It's a bit big, isn't it? I didn't know if you'd be interested in watching me do a little bit of work with Milo, so I just thought I'd film it anyway, and if you want to watch it, it's here for you. Milo I bought as a brood mare. Well, we tried to, well, we covered her twice and she didn't get in foal, and then it was far too late in the season. So I decided that she wasn't going to sit in the paddock and do nothing. I would actually um, get her going and just uh, work out uh, what she's actually like as a person or a horse. Now, she has been broken in. And um, well, that was what I was told. So, And I have actually seen footage of her being ridden years ago. She is 10. But anyway, sh she's come and I've started from the beginning with her because... I, I like to, I, I have my own method and reasons I do things the way I'm doing and I'm very glad I did. I find this little mare to me is quite a shut down little mare and um, I wouldn't get on her back at the moment because when she gets a fright she's, she's out of here. She's only done it once otherwise she normally just shuts down and goes la 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 and doesn't want to um, know about anything. So she's just saddled because I can and I bridle on I won't use it. Um, but we just do the normal groundwork that I do. Good girl. She's not that light on the halter, not as light as I like my horses. So, so that's we're working on getting. See there. Good. That was better. Good girl. So my thoughts are, if if she ends up not being able to be a broody. Good. I'll um, get her going, I'll take her out, I'll do some stuff with her and maybe she'll be a good little pony for my grandies because she's good height. She's about 13.3 I think. I actually bought her because she's a daughter of my um, stallion, my, my Welsh Sea stallion that I had. Good girl. Let's see if we can move some hindies. That was nice. That was a nice soft step. Good girl. Good girl. Hey. Yes, good girl. Very good girl. She's got the most beautiful eye, this mare. Remind me of your daddy in the eye. He was just lovely and just such a kind soul. Good girl. Quite sensitive too, so... I think that um, oh, that was nice, that was a sigh. I think that he could have turned out like this in the wrong hands because they're just the sensitive ones can. They either become problem horses or they just shut down and um, people think they're quiet and then out of the blue one day they explode. Everyone goes, I never saw that coming. Okay, that's it. No, that's the girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Yes. Should have taped all the beginning of this so you could have seen how much work it took, took for me to get her to understand that when I do this, I want her to just relax. That's a girl. It was a lot of work. Good girl. And you can see with her, I work very slowly, very methodically, because I give her a lot of time to process, because I have a funny feeling that she also was quite rushed. Doesn't mean that I'm not going to ask her to move and do things. I need to get her to actually trust me first, which she just did not do. Um, she was difficult to catch when I got her, uh, which is also why I thought I would do this because if she has a foal I need to be able to get in and handle that foal and I would like her not to take the foal away from me which some mares can do when they get very foal proud or they're not trusting of the person. Oh, that was lovely miss. That was very lovely. Yes, uh, I truly wish I had filmed this girl in the beginning. She's just a different mare now. She's very relaxed. 
rather than she probably would have to to um, a lot of people look relaxed when I first brought her in here but she was like rigid she was stiff shoulders shoulders yep shoulders good girl you're all right see here I'm upping the and yeah good girl it's upping the antsy a little bit Good, very good. I'm going to take her out, ask her to walk. Good girl. Now we're just going to sit here. The first time I did this with her, she trotted off and just went round and round and round and round as fast as she could, which tells me that she'd been chased a little bit. I like my, yeah, good girl. She checked in with me then. Good girl. Good girl, that's nice, a little lick in the tree. But you can still see high head carriage, very tight little chin. Flared, she's checking in with me again. I'm gonna just stop her now. Good. Good girl. Very good girl. <laughs> Such a nice little mare. Good girl. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep, that's all it took. Good girl. Now I'm gonna ask her to T-R-O-T. Um, and I hope she doesn't take off and think she has to go fast as, but I'm just going to pick my energy up a little. That's it. Good. I don't care if she stops now. I care what she does. Good girl. Drop my energy. Good. See if she'll follow my energy. Good girl. See if she'll come up again. Good girl. See if she'll come down. Good girl. See if she'll go up again. Lift my energy. Sorry, that was see what happens when you get distracted. Good, whoops. Let's let her stop for a minute. Relax. Good girl, what a good girl. Hey. That was really good. I'd like to have had the first one to show you because, yeah, poor little thing, she just ran around with her head, head in the air. Good girl. Oh, if you could just see her little nostrils and all her face fasciculating there as she's working through that. And I'll just show you that you can just use the lightest possible aid. So she's, oh, this is only my fifth session there she thought to go I released it good I want her to learn to go off the lightest aid and she needs to understand that I'm like I am give we are having a conversation now I'll just see if I can get her to go up with just picking up my energy there you go And when we come around where we went up, I'll come down by dropping my energy. Good girl. I'll pick my energy up again. Good girl. I'll drop my energy down again. Good. And I'll ask her just to stop there. Good girl. And that's a horse I've worked five days with. So that is just starting with the lightest possible aid and moving up as you need to and down as you don't. Obviously, she didn't start like that. Um, right, good girl.
Good, that's it. Dropping my energy because I feel her energy going up. And you remember, we like to be at about a five in the middle. And because um, she's a little bit uptight as a mare, I need to stay down the bottom end of that scale because this mare's always at the higher end of the scale. And she might not look it to you, but as you work with more horses, you will feel it, I promise you. I can see, you know, she, she's a very sensitive chestnut mare. All right, we're gonna go up again for a trot. Good. And go down again. Breathe out. That's the girl, keep going. She's not in trouble because she's checking in with me. That's fine, licking a chew. That's good. And up we go again. Good. Whoops. And down we go again. Now I'm just going to change the rein. There she started. There she started. Okay. So release the aid when the horse thinks about what you're doing. See, now she's a bit uptight and that's okay. Good girl, we're going to do that again. Good girl, I don't care that she didn't canter but she sped up. Good girl, I'm get her to relax. Get her to relax. Yes, good girl. Yes, good girl, it's okay, you're all right. Very good girl. Very good girl. Very good girl. That's a good girl. Oh, I wish you could see her little face. She's like, is it okay? Can I just relax? I can, I think. Such a beautiful little mare. I'm going to leave her there. I know she's not done a lot, but there is a lot for this mare to deal with. So I just keep it nice and short and sweet for her for a while. The time will come when I can do a lot more work with her, but right at this moment, I don't want to overwhelm her. See how she looked away from me then? It's very sad. I find it sad anyway. I like my horses usually look at me, but that's okay. So when she looked away, I just stopped. She was sort of telling me, that's enough. Good girl. That's better. Good girl. I probably, if I go back and look at that bit of footage, I have a feeling I probably walked a little fast at her. Like I don't, you don't tiptoe around her, but I'd walk to her like this rather than like this. Can you see the difference? She certainly can. Good girl. I hope you go out and try that with your horses. Always remember to start at the, the lightest possible aid and move up and stop when you see the horse think. You can always give the aid again to that starting low and coming up. And forgive yourself if you make mistakes. Your horse will certainly forgive you because they're very forgiving creatures and always forgive your horse if they make a mistake.